Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be playing with an item from Mac. Oh my goodness, I don't think I have been intrigued by anything that Mac has launched. If I'm going to be very honest, no shade towards the brand, just me personally, I just haven't really been turned on by their launches. And this is the first one that really caught my eye. This has gone viral on TikTok. This is the brand new Mac, Mac Stack Mascara. I am so intrigued by this. The cool thing about this product is that you're supposed to be able to layer it. This is a mascara that is specific specifically designed to give you the look you want. How cool is that? If you want something a little bit natural, you go in with one coat. If you want crazy vavoom voluminous lashes, you can go in with three, four, even five coats. I have seen people use up to six coats of this mascara on TikTok, and it looks phenomenal. I'm gonna test this out for you guys today. We are gonna do a wear test. I wanna try to wear this for like 10 hours. I wanna really put it to the test. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so close to my face, like closer than usual, so that you can see this product in action and I really want you guys to get a good feel of how this layers and how it looks on the lashes. So we're just gonna dive right into it. Let's see if the Mac Sack Mascara is worth the hype. This is in the shade black. I believe there is only one shade that you can get. Here's what the applicator looks like. It is a silicone applicator. It says it has little tiny I'm gonna call them spikes on there <laughs> that are shaped like petals so you can get optimal product distribution. I don't know what that means. That's just what it said. I am gonna curl my lashes because that's what I always do. My lashes are not very curled naturally. I feel like they kind of jut out instead of going up, which kind of sucks, but hey, it is what it is. I am thankful that I do have naturally longer lashes. My lash hairs are a little bit more fine, just to make note of that. So here we are. We are gonna go in with one coat of the Mac Stack Mascara. And we'll do everything on one eye first to really see the difference between obviously no mascara and mascara, a before and after. I do have to say I can feel the applicator really gripping my lashes. It is a thinner formula and usually I don't love thinner formulas when it comes to mascara. I am not someone who likes to sit there and layer and layer and layer my product. I'll be honest. I was a little bit hesitant purchasing this and how I would feel about it because I want very minimal. I want to put on one or two coats and be done. I'm very impatient. So you saw it in real time. This is one coat of the mascara and I am quite impressed so far. I feel like it kept a curl as I was going. I don't feel like it's weighing down my lashes in any way. I like to look up too so you guys can kind of see the actual added length compared to the side without the mascara. I don't see that it transferred too much onto my lid at all. It looks pretty good. All right, let's go in with coat number two. I am using a rolling kind of zigzaggy motion, typically how I apply. You definitely can tell that we are building up here. It's really getting into my lashes. I really like the grip, and I think I really also enjoy so far first impressions, how this is keeping my lashes separated. So, so far, very true to claim, it does not give you a clumpy look at all. I feel like I almost have like false lashes on. This is amazing. All right, so here we are, two coats. I think it's looking really good. I have no complaints. Definitely agree, like I said, that it doesn't look clumpy. Even though I've added another coat, I still see the curl in my lash, which is fantastic. Nothing is being compromised there. I love the separation. I just want to keep saying that there's a volume, but there's separation, which is fantastic. My lashes look very lush and fluffy. As someone who hates wearing falsies because I can't apply them for absolute shit, I cannot apply false lashes to save my life. Let me just put it that way. So I can appreciate a mascara that really gives me that fluffy effect. Let's go ahead. We're going to try one more coat. I think I'm going to go for three. My lashes personally, feels like we're going to cap out at three. I can just tell. All right, we dipped the brush in again. And let's go for number three. Just when I thought it couldn't build more, it definitely is. I can't stress this enough. If you are someone who wants to be able to build your mascara, I think that this is going to be the formula for you. Holy shit. I don't know how people put on like five coats of this. I, I cannot. There's no way. My lashes are capping out. We're tapping out at three. Holy shit. I love this so far. Holy Toledo. No clumpiness, no flaking. 
It feels so good. My lashes want to gather right here, right towards the inner corner of my eye. My lashes want to go like this. Oh my gosh, it bugs me so bad. Totally, utterly impressed. I'm going to go ahead and make this eye even, but here's one more shot of the before and after. We've got three coats of the mascara, and I'll look up. So you can see, I didn't put anything on the bottom lashes yet, obviously, but I will. All right, so I did go ahead and apply three coats to this eye as well. First impressions, I am so blown away by this mascara. I have found a lot of good mascaras in my day, but there is something, I can't stop looking in my mirror. There is something about the way that this mascara applies, and I absolutely love what it did for my lower lash line. Holy smokes, it made my lower lashes like doll lashes. It looks so good. This is how I try to get my lashes to look all of the time. What time is it right now? It is 1.46 p.m. I'm going to try to wear this for as long as possible. I really want to try to go for 10 hours. We will see if I last. I'm going to try my best. We might fall somewhere around eight. We'll see. Maybe nine. We'll see where we land. I'm gonna go ahead, go about my day, and I will check in with you guys in several hours. All right, y'all, I made it. I made it 10 hours with this mascara, with this face of makeup, which, by the way, I am so impressed with how all of my makeup held up today. I might have to feature this in an upcoming video, so stay tuned. But nonetheless, we are here to talk about the MAC Stack Mascara after 10 hours of wear. Let's talk about what I am loving about this mascara. Number one, I have no smudging, no bleeding, and nothing has flaked. Number two, my lashes have kept a curl. Number three, the formula looks beautiful on my lashes. Nothing looks clumpy. Nothing looks, again, flaky on the lashes. It doesn't look dry or anything like that. It just looks really good. I will say that even with this formula and that the fact that it is meant to be stackable, after about two coats on my lashes, personally, I was good to go. Looking in the mirror with the three coats, I think it looks fantastic. It's just for me, it, it almost looks a little heavy. Like I said, it doesn't look clumpy. I don't have spider legs going on or anything like that, but I can almost feel it on my lashes. That's what I should say. I can almost feel the mascara and that I have it on. It just feels kind of dense. Oddly enough though, it didn't weigh anything down. Like I said, my lashes kept a curl. All in all, this is definitely going to be in my arsenal, heavy rotation, and I would say probably one of the best mascaras I have ever used. I absolutely love the packaging. I think that this is so cute. The formula, obviously, like I just said, is fantastic. So good. I love the wand. It grips the lashes. It coats your lashes evenly. And if you want something that's going to wear for a very long time, this mascara checks all the boxes, basically. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So do I recommend the MAC MAC Stack Mascara? 100% absolutely. If you've tried this mascara, leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Have you been on the fence about it? You know I'd love to hear from you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up. It helps me. It pushes my videos into the algorithm, and it also lets me know to make more videos just like this one. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye, guys.